Hello everyone, this is Odit. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about one of the very useful patterns that we have and the name of the pattern is Builder Pattern. It is actually uh, one of the creational patterns that you have um, and by creational it means that it helps you to optimize or to write better code for creation of objects for a class. Okay, So that's why it is actually known as a uh, creational pattern. So in this pattern how it helps is, so let's say you have a class which has large number of properties, let's say 10 to 15 properties, okay? Um, or you can say a members of the class are very large. So in that case, um, some of the members are required members and some of the members are not required members. So you have some optional properties and you have some required properties. In such cases, this pattern really becomes, you know, uh, is, is using this pattern becomes really helpful. Uh, it allows you to write better code. It allows you to write less uh, complex code so we will just see that how how does it do that in to to you know go through it we will take an example of a car um, and our class will be a car so we are going to build a car class in that car class you can assume like you know there are various types of cars that you can have like some cars will have airbags some cars will not have airbags some cars will have music system while some cars will not have music system right similarly some cars will have sunroof but some cars won't have sunroof these are the optional properties of a car similarly there are some very required properties of a car um, like a wheel a car will always have a wheel right so that's a required property of a car steering again steering is a very required property so a car will always have a steering uh, a car, car will always have an engine so there are some required properties or there are some mandatory properties which a car, car will always have and there are some properties which are optional which a car may have and may not have depending on the variant of cars so in such cases where you have a class and in, in, in that class there are some properties which are optional some properties which are required in, in such cases build a pattern really is, is really helpful and how it is really helpful we'll just see that so as, as I told you, you know, uh, uh, we have a car and car has some required parameters and it has some optional parameters. So like required parameters are engine, uh, fuel, seats, steering. So these are the required parameters. All the cars will have it. There are more required parameters or required properties which a car will have. But uh, for the sake of this explanation, I have taken only these four. Similarly, there are some optional properties which a car will have like airbags, central lock system, music system and you know sunroof. So these are some of, some of the optional properties I have taken uh, you know to go through this example. So go, going by the traditional way, let's say you do not know anything about builder pattern and you have to you know build this class. So what will you do? You will just write a constructor, right? So you will write a single constructor and in that constructor you will write you know all the properties or you, know, you will pass all the properties as the parameters and then you will initialize those properties in the parameters. As you can see this constructor has become really big right like there are eight properties so you have eight parameters in the constructor or eight arguments in the constructor right so this constructor has really become monstrous and it will look really bad when you try to use it so if i try to you know show you uh, the usage of it then you will see then you know most of the properties will be null if you are uh, defining some class some car so a car will always have some engine some fuel type seats and steering but let's say a car doesn't does not have all of these optional properties so you will have to pass null 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 everywhere so this makes constructor really ugly right like uh, and th this you will have to do for all the cars that you will make for some of them there are some properties that will be available for some of them some properties will not be available so for example if we see in the second example or second car we are creating central lock is available but still other properties are not available so you just again pass null 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 everywhere so there are so many nulls and the code becomes unreadable it is not clean at all to solve this problem what you can actually do is um, you know a car with, which can have an airbag you can use a different constructor a car which can have a airbag and a central lock you can have a different constructor a car which can have a central lock you can have a different constructor but by this way if you go you will have to create all the constructors right constructors for all the combinations that you will have like let's say we have four optional properties here so you will have to create uh, uh, various uh, different combinations of constructor for the combination of uh, of, of each of these four properties right and optional properties if increase then your constructors will also increase exponentially so this is again a, not a very good design or not a very good way to you know approach this problem so this is where uh, builder pattern comes into handy so let's see how builder pattern solves this so uh, in builder pattern um, we again have a you know a class which have some required properties and some optional properties 
along with that instead of a constructor what we have is actually a builder a builder is actually a full flesh class that you have in the uh, in, 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 your, in your design so every class that you have like you know a car class it will have a builder of itself so just like that we have created a builder class for this class uh, and builder class will provide various methods to you know uh, provide various properties so let's say a uh, builder will provide you know you have to build with engine you have to build with fuel you have to build with seats you have to build with the steering and you know so on so various properties that you have that you will provide over here then at the last you will provide a build method which will actually build the uh, object of the class uh, you know fr from the properties that you have provided to the builder so for example let's say eight properties that you have provided so when you call the build method it will you know uh, create a builder ob uh, car object from the builder uh, properties and it will assign those properties to the car object and then it will return the car this might not make much sense to you but let me show you the usage of it right then it will actually make much more sense so when when you are using a car with builder uh, you know you will just call the builder class or uh, actually the builder uh, object of it so you will ca call car and i am naming the car with builder to you know differentiate between various types of implementations that you can have for a car so one is with constructor one is with builder one is with setters i'll go to the setters later on but uh, car with builder you will call the builder of it right so you first take out the builder of it then you will assign various properties and you will only give properties which are required to you so let's say for example engine steering seats and fuel these are the various required fields so you will obviously provide them but other properties that are required for your car which are there actually in your car you will just provide them you will not provide the properties which are not available in your car so for example this car let's say has only sunroof and music system so you will provide these two properties and then you will ask the builder to build this class build the object of this class so in the build builder build build method it will actually check all the required properties should be present and then it will assign it then it will try to create the object of the class by assigning the various properties now if you see the runner class or the, the, the usage of this you know the creation of object from by, by this builder pattern it looks very clean right it is very simple also you do not have to pass all you know nulls and all so it, it's very clean it's very readable you know op and there is one more thing which is immutability which we will talk about once we go through the setters way also so this is how builder is implemented um, you you created a separate class for builder where you provide various methods for each of the properties and then uh, you just call each of the methods whenever you, you want to build and then you just call the build method one more way to visualize it is actually you know uh, just visualize is visualize it as a actual building uh, a car so when you will start building a car in, in, a, in a factory what will you do you will start with the basic components right like for example the the outer cover first then maybe you can put an engine then you can put in a steering right so the exact thing we are doing over here we just we are building the car one by one so first of all we are saying build a car provided an engine then we are saying provided in steering then we are saying provided it's provided seats and then fuel then sunroof then music system and so on so uh, it is actually like you know when you when you when you use build a pattern it is like uh, it actually represents or it simulates the same way you build in the actual factory or somewhere right so this is how build a pattern works and that is how it allows you to not create or not bloat up the number of constru uh, constructors that you will have to do if you had not used builder pattern now let's see uh, you know how it, is it different from setters so one, one thing which you can actually think of is um, like we are building it part by part right like first of all we are giving an engine then we are giving, giving it a steering then and so on right various things we are giving one by one the same thing you can also achieve by setters so if i show you a show the same class with setters so again we have set various properties and then for each of the property you have various setters like one one setter for each one of them one setter for engine one setter for fuel one setter for seats and so on so you have like if you have eight properties then you have eight setters one for each one and then when you want to use it when you want to create an object of it what you will do you will just create the object first like car with setters and then you can set various properties right um, this will also work and again you will not have to bloat up number of const constructors if you go as setters way also but it has very big problem so that big problem is there are actually two big problems um, one is the object becomes mutable itself so if you are using setters here then even after the creation of object right uh, or creation of car you can still mutate it 
what what does what do i mean by that is let's say we create a car and you know um, sorry we create a car and we we assign various properties to it so we gave it an engine we gave it a steering we gave it airbags and we gave it a music system so let's say uh, car construction has been completed in this uh, in this flow or uh, and, uh, by by this line but even after this line you can just replace the engine of a car right which is which is not good right we have introduce mutability in our class and mutability has its own problems you can just search about it i will not go into the deep of uh, the problems of mutability but we always try to achieve immutability as much as possible so introducing setters will introduce mutability in your class and that is a very big problem and as you can see what the, the, the problem is like you know you can change the properties of the class even after its construction so you will not be sure what the various properties will have in it like because it can be changed anytime you can just go through the pro problems of mutability uh, or maybe i can create a video later on but the problem is setters will make the class mutable why uh, builder is not making the class mutable because the mutability that we have introduced is in by a builder pattern is not actually with the car class right it is actually with the builder class so you provide various properties to the builder class then builder will create the or actually build the actual object of the class and then it will provide it to you the actual object is still immutable you have not provided any centers or you know any building blocks on your actual object the building blocks or building methods are actually provided on the builder class so that's why your actual object remains immutable so car with builder over here it is immutable you cannot change the properties of it but car with setters over here has setters exposed on it so it is a mutable object you can anytime change the properties of this class so having setters uh, will create Im uh, mutability in your class while, while builder will not introduce mutability and still it will prevent you to have it will pre prevent you to not have uh, various combination of constructors or blot of our constructors right second problem here is like you are not sure whether you have completely built the object or not right so for example in the car class we had four properties which were very required engine steering seats and fuel right these were the properties which were required for a car without it you cannot create a car but you you forgot to do it right so now your car object is half baked uh, all the required properties are not there so this is again a very big problem you create half baked pro you your design is allowing users or clients or the users of the car class to create you know half baked objects while in the builder class or in the build builder way uh, while building the class we are actually able to check like all the required properties should be there so um, th these are the two very big problems with the setters and they are not there with builder so builder pattern actually solves uh, you know problems of both which setters create and you know which constructors create so that is all about builder pattern um, it's a very useful pattern whenever you have some complex classes in your in your code base uh, whenever you have classes with, with some optional properties and some required properties um, i use it a lot in all of my designs um, try to use it somewhere and you know eventually you will you will definitely see the benefit of it great so that's all from my side for this video uh, the, the code that i just showed you i have posted it in git repo and i will pay, paste the link of it uh, in the description below um, if you have any suggestions any feedback put them in the comments if you you know enjoyed the video then do like the uh, video and you know share it with your friends uh, do subscribe to the channel and you know don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thanks again um, and yeah see you uh, in the next video bye bye